guys we have another beauty egg. So this is the Little Luxuries Easter Bundle from Boots. I bought this last year and I really liked it so I had to pick it up this year. So this is what we're gonna be unboxing in today's video. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new then welcome. I feel like the beauty Easter eggs are turning into like advent calendar season slowly. More and more of them are released every single year and some are good, some are not so great. I feel like some brands create this egg and just put products in it without much of a saving just to make it into an egg shape. Um, but of course we do have the classic eggs that come out every single year that we all love. And this is one of them. So the design this year from Boots is exactly the same as last year. It's just a different color, different color scheme. Last year it was like a deep green kind of color, uh, which is really nice. And yeah, really nice for reusing as well. And it stands up. There's no rolling around, this is great. Um, it does show you what the products are on the back of the egg. So obviously if you don't want to see, you don't have to look at that, but it's got the ingredients as well, which is great. This egg cost £45, and the value of the products inside is £141.71. and p So inside here we have 11 products, mixture of skincare, makeup, body care, and a nail varnish. And it is still available now if you are interested in picking this up. I'll leave all the links for all the beauty eggs for this year in the description of this video. And of course, I do share all of the new beauty box launches on my website as soon as I hear about them, which is obviously way before I receive them. So I'll leave my website linked down below. And if you do want to subscribe to the website as well, every time I post, you get an email straight to your inbox. So as soon as I find out about anything, as soon as anything is posted, you get an email straight to your inbox and you can also shop whatever it is that's been released. So let's dive into this gorgeous egg then. I do prefer this color this year. Really nice gold champagne ribbon on the top and the lid just lifts off like this. Now, when you do get it, it is sealed up. I made the mistake of trying to pull for ages this time before I realized it actually had some sticky tape on both sides, sealing it up. So yeah, cut the sticky tape, take the lid off and inside we have our products. Now we do have a lot of this stuff that just gets everywhere, like everywhere, but the products. So I'm just gonna pick them out in the order that I'd put them back in, in from unboxing this on Instagram. So the first product is from REM Beauty. This is a chick and chick, cheek and lipstick. Got Easter on the brain. Cheek and lipstick in the shade Chorus Girl. So this is the packaging. I've only ever had a couple of products from REM Beauty. That's the shade. So it's really nice to see these popping up having the chance to actually try more products from the brand. This is what it looks like. It's like like a little bullet. And this is the shade. So it is a cheek and lip product, so you can use it on both. This kind of shade though, I would just use on my cheeks. This is not really a shade I would use on my lips. It is quite corally, but more of like a peachy coral than a warm coral. Like it's not very pinky. But I think this would make a really nice, like subtle sun-kissed blush. I think that is really, really pretty. Um, just personally for me, not a lip shade. But yeah, nice product. The next product is a continuation of the good start. This is from Sol de Janeiro and it's the Brazilian Crush 62 Perfume Mist. So we've all tried the body sprays. This is the Perfume Mist. Um, I do already have one of these on here and this smells so nice. Although it's called a Perfume Mist, I still use this like as a body spray. I don't use this any different way than I use the body spray. But it's one of my favorite scents. This smells so nice. So it's not just like the bum bum cream, it is gorgeous. I've even just picked up the foot fetish care set recently, so my feet can also smell like this. Yeah, gorgeous product, um, and that is 30 ml. Next we have a little mini, this is from Bare Minerals and it's a mascara, it's the Maxi Mist Mascara, a Phyto Fiber Volumizing Mascara. So this is the packaging that it comes in. It's just one of the travel size miniatures, but these are fine to try if you've not used them before. The shade is Maximum Black. I think I have tried this one before. I think I have a mini of it somewhere. And this is what the wand looks like. So it's quite a thick wand. Um, it is bristles and they do kind of taper at the very, very tip. Um, it does look quite thick, quite clumpy. Um, I can't remember using this, so I'm gonna try this out and see what I think of it. Um, it's vegan. It says we're committed to less plastic, safe for contact lens wearers as well, which is great. So we've got a cheek lip product, a perfume and a mascara. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. I'm gonna regret this. This is gonna go everywhere. Next we have a product from Liz Earl. Now I did think this was the hot cloth cleanser, is that what it's called? Um, but it's actually not, it's the Skin Repair Rich Cream. And I've not actually used this product before. It usually is just the cleanser and it usually comes with the little muslin cloth as well, uh, which is a nice cleanser, nice product, but I've seen it so many times in all the boots boxes, so it's nice to see something different naturally active ingredients and avocado oil. 
So it's only 15 mil. It says you massage onto the face and neck and it's for all skin types, including sensitive skin. I'll have to look into that one. It says for 72 hours of intensive hydration. Sounds good. Sounds like a nice nourishing moisturizer for kind of night time. Next, we have a sunscreen from Ultra Sun. It's the SPF 30 for the face. I do like receiving SPFs. This is only a 30. I'd usually choose a 50 for my face, but 30 is fine, I'll still use 30. Um, it's a moisturizing anti-aging sun protection for sensitive skin, and it's also non-comedogenic with antioxidants and ectoin, water resistant, and it protects against infrared A and also blue light. So it's 25 mil here. Nice size to try. It's enough to try to see if it works with my other skincare products and also under makeup. That's the important thing. Next we have a product from Dr. Jar and it's the Seeker Pair Foaming Cleanser. This is the box. There's 30 mil in here, she says, she's guessing, 30 mil. I've used this before and I think it was okay. I can't really remember. That is what the tube looks like. And this is a foaming cleanser. So for me personally, this would be a second cleanse. It's described as a mild foaming cleanser with glycerin, softly removes potentially irritating impurities and leaves skin moisturized. So you massage it gently over wet skin and then rinse off. Nice. Then we have another makeup product. This is from Stila and this is the Stila All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I'm actually wearing this today because I already have this product and I wear obviously liquid eyeliner quite a lot. And this is a really nice one. The shade is dark brown. It's the exact same shade that I've received before. I'm not sure where that came from. I can't remember. Um, possibly a boot box, maybe? So this is a full-size product. So I'll show you the one that I've already used. So this is the nib. So it is like a felt tip nib, which I'm usually a fan of because I find them quite inflexible. But this one is actually quite flexible. And it does give a really nice, precise, fine line if you want that. As you can see. Um, you can also press on harder um, to get more of a thicker line if you wanted a thicker line. Um, but it is also very precise as well. So yeah, this is a really nice one. Like I said, I've already got on today and it works nicely. I like it. Then we have a little miniature from Caudalie. This is the Vinyl Perfect Brightening Dark Spot Serum. So just a little mini, but nice enough to try to see if you like the texture of this serum. You can use it morning or night. There's not really any information about this product. Caudalie serums are usually really nice. I've probably used this one before. They're usually quite lightweight on the skin. Brightening dark spot serum. I'd probably use that in the morning personally in place of a vitamin C serum. The next product is a nail varnish from number seven. This is one of their gel finish nail colors. Uh, full size at 10 mil. The beautiful red shade and the shade is called Pillar Box, which is very nice. Um, yeah, really nice red. Standard red, more like a Christmassy kind of shade or a winter shade for me personally. I would have preferred a more spring, summery kind of shade. Um, but me, you can't go wrong with a classic red and full size. The number seven gel finish nail varnishes I used to use religiously before I discovered like OPI and Nails Inc. And they were really, really good. I've been through so many nail varnishes from number seven and I've actually finished them and then bought a replacement. They're really good. Next, we have a little mini from Frank Body. This is actually much smaller than I expected. Um, this is the Glowing Vacation Skin Inside This Bag Coconut Coffee Scrub. So this is an exfoliating product. Um, exfoliator for smooth, glowing skin. There's actually only, where's the size gone? 20 grams in here. So that's just like one use. I do like this brand and I do like their products. They've got a sense of humor as well. I like it when a brand has a sense of humor, but yeah. They do some really nice scrubs. This will smell amazing and your skin will feel so soft afterwards. Um, it's the perfect time for coffee scrubs for any kind of exfoliating product for the body. If you're gonna be popping a bit of fake tan on, getting a bit of summer glow, getting us ready for the sunshine if we get any. Final product is from Iconic London and this is the Illuminator in the shade Original. This is one of the best products Iconic has ever made. Um, I do have a full size of this already, but I've had it that long. It definitely needs replacing, and this is the replacement. This is the Illuminator. This is the best. This is the OG Illuminator. This is so good. You literally need the smallest amount. That's, that's way too much already. That's just one blob. Um, you can mix this with your moisturizer, primer, foundation. Just watch how glowy this goes. Like that one drop did all of that. So you can imagine, you just need the tiniest amount. So I'll pop a little bit on my face. Oh, 
I mean, look at that. That was just the excess of my finger. Look how glowy that is compared to this side. How amazing is it? So good. You can use it on your brow bone as well. I like to pop a little bit of this as well, corner of my eyes, just to make them pop. But it's stunning. So nice. Um, it lasts such a long time as well, which is why I've still got one in my drawer. But you can also use this like on your collarbones if you're wearing something a little bit lower cut to give them a nice glow. It's just a really, really nice product. And it's such a perfect glow. I've now got odd cheekbones there. Oh well, glowy on this side. So that is everything inside the Boots Little Luxuries Beauty Egg. So to recap, we had the stunning illuminator from Iconic. We had the face sunscreen from Ultra Sun. The coffee scrub from Frank Body. The foaming cleanser from Dr. Jar, the brown liquid liner from Stila, the perfume mist from Sol de Janeiro, the rich cream from Liz Earl, the Maximus mascara from Bare Minerals, the cheek and lip product from REM Beauty, a nail varnish from number seven in a nice red, and a serum from Cordelis. And that is everything inside the egg. So there's quite a lot of products there. There are a few miniature products, but I think they've made up for it with the Stila eyeliner, the REM Beauty product, the Perfume Mist from Sol de Janeiro, and of course the iconic London Illuminator. Definitely a nice range of products to try, and yeah, all very kind of in keeping with getting ready for summer, enjoying some nice Easter sunshine if you're going away anywhere or if we get any nice weather in the UK, fingers crossed. But like I said earlier, this is still available right now, so we'll leave it linked down below. Let me know all of your thoughts on this, and let me know how you think it compares to last year. I did unbox last year, so you can see that. If you click the eye in the corner here, it will list some relevant videos, and it will be included in those. But let me know all of your thoughts on this egg. Let me know if you're going to be picking it up, or if you have already picked it up, or if you prefer a different egg this year. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate all of you. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another video. Putting on the pressure Cause pressure's gonna get